Hey, hey everyone watching this video, Crazy we're here with some Neverwinter live gameplay footage. One of my friends who is very fond of playing MMORPGs recommended me this game. I stopped playing MMOs RPGs about two years ago, simply because they took way too much of my time. Or at least the way I wanted to play, uh, be playing them cost me too much time. <laughs> I find them way too addictive. However, this game looks promising and furthermore it's free to play, at least so far it is. If I have all my facts straight, this game is based on the Dungeons and Dragons lore and is made by D&D fans. Always cool to see the community do something like this. Um, as you can see, I already have a cute little level 8 trickster rogue. But for the sake of this video, I'll make a new character and walk you through. I also have a great weapons fighter, a big ugly ogre, or half ogre it was. Um, so yeah, this video will show people that, that are new to Neverwinter what it is all about. I'll be taking you guys through the first couple of quests. Okay, so let's get started. Ooh, I want to make a new character, which I'm unable to. Okay, delete. Guess I have to delete it. I have to press my name there. New character. Okay, so I have to choose a shard uh, in our world, also known as a server. So I'll be playing on uh, Mind Flayer. I don't care where I play. I don't have any friends. Okay, so this is an introduction video. Yeah, if you do not want to see it, um, just click this link here and it will skip the, the introduction video and it will continue with the rest of my, uh, my video. Yeah, have fun watching.
So yeah, so far the introduction video, pretty cool to see four heroes hold the breach with some random soldiers, uh, holding off a dragon, some kind of witch, and the big ass ogre like thingy, and some zombies. Okay, so uh, let's continue with uh, the race, the race selection. You have a half orc, looks kind of human, but not all the way obviously because it's an orc as well. You also have a male version, even more ugly. You have humans. Well, just standard. And note that each race has some uh, racials. I um, actually want to be um, going that you go through the classes first. Because the, the racials are beneficial for some classes and for some they're not. So let's do the classes first. A trickster rogue. Master of Stealth and Misdirection, basically um, a rogue I think has a lot of dodge, a lot of movability and deals lots and lots of damage. Um, let's see, Stealth, yeah, bait and switch, jump backwards dropping a decoy in your place and enemy that are near the decoy will attack it instead of you, always handy. Bluff Bath, flash around the battlefield slashing into your foe so quickly that you cannot be targeted. Always nice to deal some free damage without getting hurt yourself. And thievery, you can see and disarm traps, preventing you from taking damage or getting stuck. Always handy. Devoted cleric, so yeah, this will be the healer of the game. Astral change, toggles between the enemy or ally version of your right click power. I think it's either damage or heal. Healing words, apply regeneration effect to both you and your target. This power has three encounter charges and recasting on an affected ally will extend the duration okay cool flame strike this will be your damage skill and religion you can interact with religious objects and collect artifacts to sell from them uh, religious artifacts are found in instances um, in my next video i'll show you some of these artifacts or at least uh, collectibles in instances that are bound to classes control wizard the mage ma magic missile chill strike this will have a, a stunning effect on them and adding chill so it slows um, enemies down arcane singularity call into existence a massive singularity no idea what a singularity is arcana you collect magic items to sell and you can interact with arcane arcana objects these interactions often give you a bonus to combat skills. Okay, always handy to be better at fighting in a fighting game. Great weapons fighter. <clears throat> Look at the nice big sword and the cool armor. You have sprint. Always nice to speed up some uh, some traveling. Punishing charge. Always uh, nice to be able to get quick to your opponents. Avalanche of steel. Leap into the air and come down with a crushing force that leaves your enemy prone. So they will be unable to move or be able to move very, very slowly. Dungeoneering, well that's the same as all the other classes. You can see traps and collect artifacts. Guardian Fighter, the tank of this game. Guard, block all incoming damage. Enforcing threat, taunt basically. And Fighter's Recovery. You steady yourself and gain Fighter for the fight to come. Temporary healing for a large portion of the damage you deal. Okay, so you will have a lifesteal like skill and engineering as well. And one more class coming. I think it was the draw or there was a race. But well, we will be seeing that later on. So let's go get back to the races now that we know what, uh, what classes we have. The half orc, furious assault, critical strike, extra. Ability score grants you dexterity or either constitution or strength. Uh, dexterity and constitution is nice for the tank dexterity and strength is nice for the weapons fighter and also for the trickster rogue however uh, myself I do not like a orc being a stealth like uh, like unit simply because they're so big and massive swift charge you gain a 10% bonus to run speed for 3 seconds when you enter combat this effect can only occur every once, once every 20 seconds 
So yeah, this is basically nice for every melee class. A human, versatile defense. So this uh, this speaks for uh, for the tank. Ability scores two to any ability score. Yeah, you can put some in constitution. Heroic effort, you gain an additional heroic feat point at level 10, 15 and 20. Heroic feat points are basically the skills, if I'm correct, that you can choose. Or your special station skills. I'll get to that later. Let's remember the name. Heroic feat. Okay. So we have the dwarf. Stand your ground. Increase resistance to knock and repel effects. To constitution, to strength or wisdom. So this class. Well this skills is, is handy for every class I think. Especially for melee. Because you will be moving around a lot. Constitution, well, health is always welcome. Strength is for melee or wisdom for any mage. So a dwarf can be any class. Cast iron stomach, you have you have increased damage resistance to damage over time effects. Um, yeah, I think this class is actually more for the tanks, but it is pretty all round. The Elf, Elf and Accuracy, increased critical strike by 1%, ability score to Dexterity, Intelligence or Wisdom. So this is definitely the Rogue or the Mage, or even Cleric. While Stab you have 10% resistance to effect and slow your movement. This speaks for melee classes. Half Elf, well, how do you have to say this? Dilettante, grants 1 to non-class ability score. Uh, yeah, this is handy for overall for every class ability scores due to wisdom charisma or wisdom So this actually speaks for mages or clerics so it seems Knack for success you are naturally better to many facets of life get one deflect one critical servity Clubs and gold find Handy for every class Although I think this is more a caster's race. Halfling. Nimble reaction. The small stature and quick movement grants 2% to deflecting incoming attacks. Bits for dexterity, charisma or constitution. Bold. Your fearless nature increases your resistance to crowd control effects by 10%. So I say this is a melee race. Thiefling. Looks kind of like the Drenai from World of Warcraft or the female version of Hellboy. Well, there's Hellboy, a bit smaller though. Blood Hunt, you deal an additional 5 damage to targets below half health, handy for every damage dealing class. To Charisma, Constitution or Intelligence. So this is a caster thing. Whenever you are hit you have 10% chance to lower the power of the attacker by 5% for 5 seconds. Yeah, so Thiefling is a caster race as well in my opinion. And I'll be showing you the warrior, the great weapons fighter today. So I'll go for the half orc. I'll be playing a mill. Great weapons fighter, constitution. Okay, so you can re-roll your scores. So you can have the best possible options. As a great weapons fighter, I want 20 strength at least, some dexterity or constitution. Constitution is your uh, stamina, health and vital force. So always good to have that as a melee class. Dexterity, measure your hand-eye coordination, agility, reflex and balance. Your base is 13 to bonus due to the race. Um, I actually think this is better for tricksters. But it might actually increase my critical strike chance. So I want to be going for strength and constitution. Intelligence. We learn and reasons. Well not uh, so much needed for my weapons fight. I only need to smack stuff. Wisdom. Sense perception. And personality, persuasiveness and leadership. So basically uh, the stats that are in grey are not useful for your class. And the ones in color and one in purple is most important. And you have this racial ability bonus to dexterity to strength or to dexterity and constitution. I want to be want to have strength. I want more power. I want to be hitting harder. So let's go for the 20 strength. Okay, well, 
fine with, fine with me. Maybe there's one with constitution. Well, this is it, I guess. Okay, continue. My appearance. They're all ugly, so I don't care what it looks like. Ponytail's cool. Too dark for me. Too ugly. Well, this one is cool. Super, super saiyan like hair. Okay, customize. So you can customize all these different things. Blind, blind left. Hurt, red eyes, hurt right. Okay. Eyebrows. Thick, bushy, fine, natural, facial hair. I'll not be going through everything. So I'll just uh, show you some stuff. Uh, this. Complexion, Q and I don't care. Tattoos. Always cool to have some extra tattoos. But not today. Scars, I want one over my eye. Can I have one over my eye? Cheek left, cheek right. I left. Right eye, left eye, right eye. Okay, right eye. Face scaling, head size, head width, brow high, okay. Body shape, some width or mass or something. So for all those of you who are uh, horny playing games, you can actually increase the breast size of your character. Leg bulk, I want bulky legs. Feet size, I want big legs. Or feet even, feet thickness. And feet length, I want big feet. Okay. So character origins. This basically is the the yeah your uh, your the story of your character, where you come from, what you did, blah blah blah. I like Dragon's Coast, Baldur's Gates, Amen. Well, I don't think this actually does anything to your um, Northland warrior. Okay, cool. I'm a Northland warrior. So I th don't think this actually does anything for your um, for in-play game play experience. It only adds something to the RPG. Date affiliation. Your uh, what's it called? The thing you believe in. And there was one with a warlord thingy. I always connect orcs with warlords. Simply because I played World of Warcraft a lot and if you play PvP there, if you had the highest rank or one of the highest ranks, you are or you will become a warlord. Mighty Sword, blah blah. Okay, so I'm a Tempest Tempuron. Cool. Character name. Crazio obviously. Okay, so let's begin the adventure. Level one, okay. That's the way to go. Loading screen with a nice hint. Loading Neverwinter Field, so this is the starting area. Look out, struggling! Ah, oh, oh, so horrible uh, f flashbacks there. Hey, are you alright? It seems uh, I got attacked by some dragon while uh, sailing this boat. We're doing some fishing stuff. Hello, Master of Healing. Always uh, nice to have some healers around. I'm seeking adventure and riches. Neverwinter is my home. No, I'm seeking adventure and riches because I'm greedy. Okay, so as you can see, uh, where is it? Is that? Okay, so on the top right uh, of your screen, on the top right you have this mini map and it shows you the directions. Of your quests and note with F you interact with stuff around the world have to take all yes I want all and everything that's glittering you can interact with so I picked up two items a inferior breastplate well, inferior or not better anything than nothing rusted greatsword Okay, with Alt key you can actually go into uh, what's it called? Mouse loop modes. Okay, so right you have your um, your quest, and the top you have some options, these kind of things. Uh, in the bottom you have your um, your hotkeys. So this is my only skill at the moment. You also have a shift ability from the start, and your shift uh, depletes your stamina this green little bar here 
and it takes about four or five seconds to actually start regenerating um, before uh, when you stop using your shift key my shift key lets me sprint so yeah that's nice to uh, to travel faster as you can see it doesn't start really uh, regenerating right away and for some reason my glittering roads or path isn't showing uh, very well um, basically ah, here's the bonfire in the bonfire you gen regenerate health so nice for classes that can't heal themselves. Hello, Link Ladder, Lieutenant Link Ladder. Sign of life, yes, I am alive. Complete quest, battlefield triage. Okay, so I'm gonna do some mending. So as I was saying, with all you can go into uh, this mode and show stuff in rounds. Here is your party. I'm alone. This are my buffs yes my buffs experience bar and health bar potions hockey 3 4 5 hockey q e and r hockey 1 this will be your special ability when this yeah, what's it called bar triangle thingy is full you can have your uh, own each uh, skill your daily power as you gain left, you'll be able to slot a daily power here. So you can have two daily powers here. And you only have three slots for skills. And one and two mouse button skills. You may slot a class power here. Don't know what that is yet. As you gain left, you'll be able to slot a extra power here. Okay. So as you left, you can extend this action bar. Left, you'll have your bag. You open it with the I inventory. Okay, so let's continue with the quest. With M, you see the map. And this is something I like. This is my quest area. Here, I'll be completing my quest. So everything is uh, pretty clear. And as I was saying, with the Z key, you can toggle your um, quest pass on and off. But for some reason, it isn't working for me at the moment. Uh, basically, what you will see is some, uh, some glitters on the ground. And it leads you to the quest. Maybe there are no glitters because I'm already in the quest area. Let's see if it will show glitters here. Yeah, there they are. At least they were. Maybe I need to be some uh, away further. Yeah, basically they, these are the glitters, but my glitters aren't showing uh, the correct amount of glitters, I think. Okay, so I need to give aid to wounded soldiers on the battlefield. Hello, rudder, a zombie. Okay, so it is not aggroing me. This is the starting area, the newbie area. And let's see how the damage looks like. Okay, so in three swings, I can kill a rudder. Note that I'm not getting any experience for killing zombies or any mobs uh, whatsoever. In this game, you gain experience by completing quests or I think even professions. Hey, that's fine. I don't like grinding anyway. So questing is the way to go in this game. If you're one of those uh, Chinese farmers, uh, I don't think this will be the correct game for you. But I guess you can complete instances uh, as you go. And uh, yeah, you can basically uh, Chinese farm instances as well and get experience that way. If you finish uh, an instance with or without a quest, you will get experience. So uh, yeah, mass of healing, hello. So you're back there on the coast. Battlefield triage complete. Okay, so I am a Mender Broken Arrow. Okay, this quest basically um, requires me to uh, to retrieve broken arrows from these uh, dead corpses. Hello, Makos. Inspecting this dead dragon. What happened here? Falindra had a Dracol on her control and she attacked everyone. Okay, Falindra is the, the bad boss, in the harbor, I guess. And, and this was the mage the in the video who actually killed the dragon, so it seems. He attacked ships in the harbor. Mine as well. There was a Thank you for the horrible flashbacks. Now I need to consult uh, the you know, what's it called in English? The important a shrink. Is that we deprive her of it. Thank you, dragon. When a is killed, so, three more arrows and I'm done. Special okay. From there, it can yeah, my path, the body paths are still dragon. not uh, working. My uh, quest pass, the, the glitter road. This spirit path. Not so I need to uh, put these arrows in this barrel. 
Interacting. Okay, complete. Cool. Rife, it's hard to dawn. Hello, back. broken arrow complete. Thank you for the help. More undead are attacking yeah, Neverwinter. Eight They're boiling no. out of Castle no, Never and storming the sleeping dragon bridge. Didn't receive any quest rewards. So now I need to kill undead soldiers near the gates. Six left. Okay, so I got another skill. This is a AOE skill, so I want to be testing it out. The Blowy, and I have a Q skill as well, which basically deals AOE damage as well and slows down my uh, my foes. One more. Stabbing me in the back. A nice few undead soldier. My revenge is sweet. Okay, so I wanted to show you some skills. Not so fast. Release a fast spinning slice to the legs of enemy around you, briefly slowing them, and it does uh, deals AOE damage. Reaping strike, a lots and lots of physical damage. Hold the button to prepare a powerful sweeping strike that grows in strength the longer you charge it. While charging your swing, you gain more determination from taking damage. And I don't know what that means. Maybe I get less damage. Or maybe I actually get more damage. No idea. Or maybe it means that as you charge and you get damage, it, it charges faster. Or maybe it will deal more damage. Hello, Either way, something Hello. happens if you get hit Hello. while charging. So uh, my glitters are still not working. And if you have to go through a gate or a door or whatever for request, the doors or gates will glitter as well. So you have to actually click some place where you want to go. I want to go to Sleeping Dragon Bridge. Okay, loading screen. Some in-game footage. They're in trouble. We must go to their aid. Okay, Wilfred, let's go to their aid. I'm using my sprint ability. Simply because I can. Okay, so uh, these red dots are uh, for the projectiles that will fall from the sky. Basically avoid them. Archers will mark their uh, their angle uh, of fire. Need to avoid it as well. I don't know if it deals that much damage. Hey, avoiding is better than taking, I guess. So these undead soldiers are no match for my big sword. And my good friend will... Yeah, Wilfred it is. Yes, good work, Wilfred. They just keep coming. Yes, they are keep coming. Yes, correct. Lots and lots of enemies, so I'll do my charge. Good blowy. Nice physics of, in this game. Always cool to see the uh, mobs flying around. So, uh, let's analyze the combat a bit. It is still a target-like uh, uh, combat system, like uh, similar to World of Warcraft. Only in World of Warcraft you will always have this type of UI. You will be able to click stuff with your mouse and when pressing your, uh, your right mouse button you actually look around like this. Um, as I said you have to tap to select uh, the mob you want to be attacking. Here you have to aim the mob you want to be attacking. Um, but the way the, the makers of D&D made this, this combat system it feels more free. It feels like I can dodge this these attacks a bit better. Obviously, I don't anyway. So, um, but it feels different. Let's see if I can hit air. If I target run, no, I can't. So basically, yeah, it's still the target system as we are used to, to from uh, from World of Warcraft. Once uh, enemies are uh, are hitting you and you just click your left mouse button, you will be attacking um, units even though you're facing the wrong way. We will basically turn around and face the right way. Yes, I should be clicking my left mouse button, else nothing will happen. No, I do not have potions. I actually left a potion here, I think. Maybe not. Okay, so let's observe the environment a bit. See uh, the graphics. Can I walk down? No, I can't jump down. Good for me. So yeah. At f uh, my first impression of this, um, yeah, this level, if I can call it like this, this this view, it's actually quite nice. Although this is a quite sloppy, bad graphics here. Um, but further, uh, yeah, it actually looks quite nice. Big open sea, nice fires, 
yeah. The sky is actually moving, the clouds, so that's cool. Not a static, uh, static air. So yeah, I actually think they, uh, they did a pretty good job here. Nice rock formations. Okay, so let's continue. More rodders for me to slay. Let's charge. And do the Q ability right after. I actually think it's better to do the Q first because it has cooldown. And after that you can charge your uh, your right mouse uh, action. And um, yeah, the time it takes uh, to uh, charge it will uh, let your Q skill go off uh, of the cooldown. Hello Witch. I wonder if I'll be able to take this without any potions. Best to avoid uh, this damage. He's smacking you hard. So this is where the, the sprint ability comes in handy. It actually makes you uh, avoid these uh, these red areas on the on the map faster. On the ground I should say. So I leveled up. Got my um, HP back, and it seems I got a daily power. It's called spinning something. It was nice to be able to spin around. Let's check it out. So this does lots and lots of AOE damage. So uh, my first impression of the weapons fighter is that I can do lots and lots of AOE damage. Flintra. You nasty witch! Okay, my friend Wilfred is uh, getting smacked up pretty bad. Okay, so let's uh, take out this big zombie. Oh, undead soldiers. We want to be fighting uh, the big guy and the zombies at the same time. Okay, so uh, now I'm ready for you, the Harbringer. Okay, so I failed to run away. So it seems that if you want to be running away, you need to uh, stop attacking. Hey, okay, that's fine. Just use my uh, spin ability. Miss me. Okay, so you're quite able to dodge a lot of these uh, attacks of this big guy. Just uh, avoid him facing you. Oh. Anyway, I don't need to be avoiding it anymore. I'll win this anyway. I get a lot more HP than he does. And, uh, yeah. I'll be avoiding this one. I want to have the massive damage on me. And there it is! Clear to the first boss. So yeah, some more uh, background information about this game. Um, in this game you have five professions. Uh, leadership, bladesmithing, millsmithing, ladder working and tailoring. Leadership is a new interesting profession which I haven't seen before. Uh, with this profession you manage mercenaries to perform certain tasks. With this profession the crafter simply earns lots of different resources like gold, experience, astral diamonds and other stuff, professions, you name it. Um, there's an interesting economy system. There are basically three currencies, money, zen and diamonds. I only have copper, so money at the moment, identify. New boots. Okay, so they. I don't know if I can call it stall, but I am calling it uh, stall the um, identity thing from Diablo, where you have uh, where you find these uh, uncommon items and where you actually have to identify them before you know what they do. This gives me four defense. Always nice to be better at taking damage. Adventurers rewards. Okay, so I need to be level five to be able to unlock this. These are my riches, money, zen, uh, some, for some reason you also have glory. More currency, ardent coin, celestial coin and rough astral diamonds. Here, uh, here you'll find probably some more uh, coins or uh, currencies. Your prof profession resources, 
like wool and cloth and maybe some herbalist like uh, items and ore obviously idle companions so yeah you can actually get some uh, companions like snakes birds uh, maybe a dog to accompany you on your adventures uh, you have mounts as well so you, uh, to speed up the traveling uh, you can make guilds so playing with your friends is pretty cool here and I actually think the instances are uh, designed for team play so this is mainly a corporate cooperative game um, and there's an achievement system so if you do some cool st uh, stuff in the game you will get rewarded for it um, yeah so uh, let's finish this quest Talk to Wilfred, hang on private, oh get help! So where are my bandages? I thought I was a master triager. I'm sorry Wilfred. Bye bye Wilfred, there goes my one and only friend! No. Okay, so I lost my one and only ally in this game. No friends whatsoever. Because I'm an orc. No one wants to befriend an orc. Well, there you have it, the, um, the first, what is it, about 30 minutes gameplay of this game. The, the starter quest that gets you off the coast and you stop the invasion for now. Good job, guys! So, in my next video, Neverwinter, I'll be showing you some uh, more instance action. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, tips or tricks, leave a comment uh, under this video or send me APM on YouTube. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next episode of The Walking D uh, Neverwinter. Bye bye guys. Okay then, recruits. I guess these are bad recruits. So I'm slapping them in the face. More snipers. Hello, sniper. I definitely got to remember to use my uh, key. Because it's easy to cast. Around all the time. But hey, no harm done. I'll just uh, run around if that's what he wants. Okay, there it is. He died. Okay, so some uh, 